Guys, another quick disclaimer. I mean, literally quick. I haven't even set up anything yet. Um, so I never realized how bad the scalp. I mean, I realized it was bad when I couldn't find anything, but uh, how truly bad the scalping situation is for Pokemon cards and stuff like that. So until the situation gets fixed and everything like that, or people learn to stop scalping. I'm not going to be pricing my cards, because I feel that I am adding fuel to the fire on that. Um, even though I get only a few views for these videos, I do feel that if people find these, then they're going to try to set prices higher and stuff like that. So yeah, I am not going to be putting prices on the cards in these videos, hopefully for another month, but until the scalping situation gets under control. Um, probably gonna make another rant video about scalpers, um, just on what I think we should do about that. Uh, but other than that, yeah, let's actually get into the video now. Yeah. So as I'll mention later, this what's in the box um, is a little different this week. Um, one of them being that I had the uh, Shang-Chi Shang -Chi Lego set that I reviewed that wasn't included in the list. Um, but I also am way too excited to wait till Friday to open this for you guys. So I'm going to unbox this now and then open it. And then review. Let's see if, tell me if you guys like it this way better. Um, actually, probably gonna wait to review it till later. But we are opening crosshairs. So yeah, we finally we got crosshairs. Uh, now we just need wrecker and tech, and I guess a bad batch echo because we just got an arc trooper echo. But yeah, I'm so happy about this. Um, let's unbox them and then put them with everything else. Alright, now after all these false starts, let's actually get into what's in the bag. So I'm going to start with whatever's on top. And that is Shang-Chi. Then we got Age of Extinction Drift. <clears throat> And for the last figure, we have the Clone Wars Anakin. We also have the Jiren Pop. I went a little overboard on Pop this week, just because it's that one was 20 bucks, and I did not know it was 20 bucks. <clears throat> Hot Wheel, I got the toaster car. Um, and then for the movie, we got... The last 18 episodes of Ultra Legends, so I'm only missing the middle 18. Um, and then let's look at the comics, I guess. Dr. Aphra and Darth Vader, uh, number 10 and 12, respectively. Very good comics. Um, I do think Darth Vader's better, even though it is a little confusing. But, uh, yeah, it was better than Aphra. And then we got... For the knockoff Pokemon, a Galvantula. And we got a custom Captain Rex from Bricks and Minifigs. Um, and then finally, we got our cards here. Let's open those up. Or take them out and check them out. I was actually able to get a Battle Styles. I got a Zendikar. And I got a Caldeum. So. We move this bag out of the way. This is our weekly haul. All right, let's open the cards up and then check it all out. All right, so let's open the card packs. I'm gonna do Magic Pokemon Magic. Um, like I said, I'm not pricing these for now just because I feel that is encouraging scalpers. So Fissure Wizard, Expedition Healer, uh, Tormenting Voice. 
Blood Beckoning, Territorial Scythe Cat, Skyclave Sentinel, Expedition Champion, Vanquish the Weak, Seagate Colossus, Goldraz Mulk Lord, Cannon Jabroa, <clears throat> Iridescent Horn Beetle, Umara Wizard, and the mythical Ashea Soul of the Wild. We got a full art planes and a blank card. Let's do Pokemon now. Since that is a major thing. Um, first off, here's the QR code. One, two, three to the front. We got a Durant, Progly, Tool Jammer, Murkrow, Horsey, Cherubi, Lickitung, Electrobuzz, a Reverse Remoroid, and a Vivillian, and a Grass Energy. <clears throat> now let's do the special Caldeum pack. Alright, so for our full art card we got Masked Vandal, we got Ice Tunnel, Iron Verdict, Code Spell Clerk, God's Hall Guardian, uh, Wings of the Cosmos, Snakeskin Veal, uh, Veil, Ravenous Windworm, Arachnoform, Beldegard Stronghold, our rare is Gem Farm Avenger, another rare is Certland Elementalist, our reverse is Elderleaf Mentor, and we got Booster Blitz. Alright, now let's get Alright, so we got a other contender here that will be in the reviews, which is Ian Malcolm, aka Jeff Goldblum. So we're going to do this in interview or review order is Jiren, Shang Chi, Anakin, Crosshairs, Ian, and then Drift. So let's get into it. All right. So here's the Jiren figure review. Um, I do have to say, not worth the 20 bucks I spent. I thought it was going to be $10. It's three and a half inches. Um, and I saw that said exclusive. So I was like, oh, it's $10 and exclusive. And then I rang it up and looked at the receipt and it was 20 bucks. Uh, so if it was $10, this would be a lot better. But 20 not really. Sculpt is really good, though. Um, head's pretty nice and everything like that. It's not a bobblehead. It's a regular figurine but uh yeah so really not much to say about it give it a two out of five let's move on to the next review toy review. all right and here's shang chi let me zoom out a little um he is pretty nice figure it's part of the uh mr hyde wave stands at about six and a half inches so taller than usual quick 360 Really nice design. Came with a bunch of other hands and stuff like that. Um, which, if you guys are curious on seeing poses and stuff like that, please follow me on Instagram where I do showcases for these figures. So, just quick uh, posability or maneuverability. Head can go 360, go up and down. Arms can go around, elbow, bend at the elbows, and also have a joint right here. Hands can be free moving. All hands are like that. Um, can twist and turn like so. And that's as far as his legs go. Can bend like that, however. Um, and feet are movable too. Uh, so, gotta give this figure um, a 9 out of 10. Very nice figure. Really, really like it. So let's move on to the next. Alright, so here we have Crochet. And Crosshair is in uh, his Bad Batch uniform, not his Death Trooper uniform or Elite uniform, whatever you want to call it. Uh, his helmet is removable, and actually this is everything that comes with him. Uh, you can store a sniper rifle there, and actually you can store his pistol right there. Um, and of course, he can wear his helmet. Just wanted to show off the headpiece really quick before putting the helmet back on. Highly detailed and a live action version of Crosshair at that. Here he is with his helmet. 
Um, let's just remove his pistol and his sniper really quick. His backpack also comes off. Just to show his maneuverability. Head 360 up and down. Arms can go out about yay far. And basically rotate all the way around. The shoulder pads are what's stopping that. And elbows can hinge up and down. Wrists can turn. And then his legs can go out about this far. Bend in, bend move. And he could twist a little bit and bend down and up. So let's measure him really quick and then rate him. So he stands at about six and a half inches. Um, and I really love this figure. I'm really happy he came in the mail and everything. Um, I do have to say, I am a sucker for the Bad Batch, and I'm a sucker for clones. He gets a 10 out of 10 from me. Now let's go on to... Alright, and here's the review for the Black Series Clone Wars Anakin. Lucky enough to get him and Ike, um, but did not pick up Hawk or Obi-Wan yet. Hopefully I'll be lucky enough to do so. Let's uh, measure Anakin, who's just a little over 6 inches. 360 degrees um, and articulation head can go all around actually I think the n nope it's not only accessory was this lightsaber arms can rotate I uh, don't suggest doing that though because I just threw off his shoulder pad but they can rotate and bend wrists are fairly good at rotating too his waist is a little tight on doing that, um, and his legs can spread like that, fold in, and bend. Um, so I will be honest with this. In ranking him, he's like a 6 out of 10. I prefer the Episode 3 Anakin. It's just his face looks a little funky to me, and I don't know why, but it just does. Looks like they're trying to put animation on um, Hayden Christensen's face. It's kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, so 6 out of 10. Now let's move on to the master himself, Jeff Goldblum. So here we have Mr. Goldblum himself, Ian Malcolm. Uh, let's do some measurement because I'm curious. He's a, exactly 6.5 inches. Quick 360. And... Uh, Really nice looking figure. Um, can rotate 360 up and down. Arms can go out and around and fold up and down. Hands can be pretty free moving. These Amber Collection figures are amazing. Um, his legs, he can do the splits, which I'm pretty sure Jeff Goldblum can. <laughs> and feet turn around and everything. Um, but yeah, so really nice figure. I, I'm curious, so I am going to do it in front of the camera really quick. Here he is next to a Velociraptor. Uh, so that's Delta right there, obviously. But uh, yeah, really nice figure. Give it a 9 out of 10. Um, comes with a few other accessories. Like I said, if you want to see that, go to my Instagram. He'll be up there sometime this week. All right, let's do the last. All right, and here is Drift, who is an Apache attack helicopter. An amazing complement of weaponry. Look, it's got machine guns and missiles. Oh my god, that is stronger than a child's wish. Sorry, I had to do that. Um, but yeah, here's Drift. It actually kind of looks pretty cool. I know that these deluxe uh, versions of helicopters usually don't turn out that well, but Drift actually looks really cool. So, let's get into transforming. So, the first thing that you gotta do is actually remove a lot of stuff. You gotta take that out, take off his blades, and take off his missile launchers. Which is gonna take a second. There we go. And then you wanna line that up for now. And then, so the directions do say that you should be clipping the bottom before clipping the top. However, I found it easier to clip the top um, before doing the bottoms. So you just do that to get that out. 
and then pull that back like so his head's right there and then fold his legs down while we'll close the uh, <clears throat> machine guns and then push up the legs like so so we already did that there and then you push up the legs then you want to rotate that fold that back and then fold that back I believe too yep and then like I said fold or rotate fold back fold back got his legs done now actually after you do a quick rotation on there and then you take his hands actually what might be easier is just doing that and then you're supposed to rotate it which is a little hard with the hands being where they are um, because they're being blocked by the legs so just kick the legs up and rotate that around and then there you go put the legs down again and then you fold in the chest piece that's right here might have to do a little bit of maneuvering to do that um, there we go and then you fold in the hands or fold in the fins that will be the hands and then you push up the cockpit in the back to make it look like he has swords and there is drift for you so let's measure him out really quick he's about five inches quick rotation here very nice uh, articulation is 360 on the head up and down arms can rotate all around and fold uh, torso does not move however legs can do the splits and move like that all right so let's talk about ranking him the helicopter is beyond phenomenal which gives him a lot of points um, and his robot forms okay that's why I figured with um, the transformers that they have that have two different alt modes and they made two different figures for one of them turns out good one of them turns out bad and I will say the one for uh, the last night drift is a lot better than this one however I still give this one a 7 out of 10 so let's wrap hey guys this part of the review is a little impromptu just for the fact that I know um, I will not have this set with me during the shooting schedule of the rest of the reviews so I did just want to show this off really quick this is the Shang Chi escape from the Ten Rings set comes with four minifigures four and a half with uh, Morris there a little bit of uh, turrets two of them to be exact little weapons thing two motorcycles and a car uh, so let's talk about the minifigures really quick we got Shang Chi, Katie, Razor Fist and Wen Wu and also Morris um, they all look pretty nice nothing like too fancy uh, like we usually get but uh, Morris is its own little mold right here let's just show that off really quick it's a little cute little thing uh, and then Wen Wu who is going to be the main villain looks a little basic Razor Fist comes with a little build for his uh, fake hand then we got Katie with a crossbow crossbow Katie and then we got Shang Chi and I actually did something on this uh, which was put the ring on his arm like a bracelet because that's what it looks like so out of the many figures I do give it a 4.5 out of 4.5 so let's look at the motorcycles really quick they're both the same exact thing just one's got pink and one's got turquoise so we'll look at the turquoise one really quick uh, basic motorcycle build all that stuff but yeah and then we'll look at these turrets we got one missile launcher turret able to spin around and aim stuff like that and the disc launching turrets basically the same thing except it launches discs uh, both come with an extra disc or missile to be reloadable and now we got the car the car is really cool I actually really like this car 
um, sits two people and has room for the back and just it's kind of like an SUV I feel like it's pretty nice pretty sturdy rolls perfectly everything like that now this is a $30 set so because it's a $30 set I am ranking it out of 30 I give it a 25 out of 30 really good set uh, comes with a lot of stuff. I also forgot to show off the little weapons rack. Just kind of wish, since we know that we got one Wu, uh, Wen Wu in the other set, we did get somebody else. But uh, that's just nitpicking. Uh, and since this is my first Wen Wu, that's why the minifigures got a perfect score. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. Alright guys, so that was the review for the week of these five figures and this pop figure. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell. And follow me on all my social media down below. It's that nerd Ryan telling you we're all toy collectors on the inside.